here is how to build a simple feedback control system using Open Modelica and simulate the system responding to a setpoint change. First, we will create a model. Uh, we can use any name, but Modelica standards uh, normally use um, first letter capitalization with no spaces or underscores. Uh, so I'm just going to call this uh, feedback. You can accept all the defaults. Now we will see a screen where we can uh, draw our model. I'm going to zoom in by pressing uh, Command Plus. And most of the blocks that we are going to be using for uh, simulating linear systems exist under this uh, Mandalico blocks library. I'm going to use a simple second order system uh, as our target for the optimization or for, for the control. And I'm going to use a the built-in PID controller, which is also under the continuous um, menu item. In addition, uh, we're going to use some uh, items from the source and from math. But let's uh, just get our PID up. So here is our PID block. I will control a second order system. Notice that we could have used um, the uh, transfer function block, which is an uh, arbitrary transfer function. But I'm just going to use second order so that we can reason easily about how it uh, behaves. Then uh, we can do under math, we can uh, include the feedback block and under sources we are going to simulate a step input. Now we need to connect all the blocks together. So uh, to connect the blocks, we uh, drag, initiate the drag from the uh, end of one of these dark colored blocks. So we can uh, zooming in can make that a little bit easier. Uh, to connect this last feedback uh, block in a in a nice way, we can actually initiate the drag and then click at the points at which we want the uh, curve to change direction. Right, so now we are connected. I'm going to clean this up a little bit. There you go. And uh, the next step is to set all the parameters. Double clicking on one of these blocks will set its options. We uh, see that the default height is 1, so we can start with a height of 1. Uh, default for our PID block is a gain of 1. I'm going to add a little bit of integral action, no derivative action. And in our second order block, the gain, let's, let's uh, use a gain which is not 1, something like 2. Uh, this angular frequency is 1 over the time constant that we may be used to um, using. So I'm just going to use 1 so that uh, it's easy to reason about. And I'm going to simulate a slightly underdamped system. So this D is uh, similar to zeta. Right, so now we're ready. We've got all the stuff set up. We need to check our model. Uh, we can uh, check that uh, the equations are correctly set up. So we've got 22 equations, 22 variables. So degrees of freedom is equal to zero. When we instantiate the model, we can see that Modelica has, uh, Open Modelica has combined all of the different equations uh, into one big set of equations. The most important thing here is that we see that there are four derivatives, which are the two states that, um, that are in the second order system and the two states for the PID. Now we're ready to simulate. Let's set the simulation parameters. 
the default stop time is one, but we typically want to simulate a little bit longer. So I'm going to simulate for, let's say, 30 seconds. Uh, and there's an option here to save the simulation settings inside the model. This means that when I load the model again, I don't have to set these uh, models again. In order to simulate, I first need to save. So I can save in the default location. Uh, this window pops up which shows all the results of the compilation. You can safely ignore that window. Um, now we are in the plotting area and remember we can get back to modeling by clicking on this modeling tab. Click uh, on plotting to see the plotting results. Here I can see uh, the output of the PID which would be the manipulated variable and I can see the output of the second order system. Uh, usually the convention is that u is the input and y is the output and uh, we can see the output there. Let's include the output of the step so that we can see the reference signal and there we can see our closed loop simulation. Uh, we can also easily uh, model the effect of changing parameters. So let's say that the response looks a bit too slow for me. I want to include some more gain. I'm going to change the gain to 10. I can change the gain, press enter and click on this button which re-simulates and I see immediately the results of the simulation 